This example is on the automatic braking system using a fuzzy logic controller. This is not a design question, but rather a question that requires you to do computations. It has been decided that the inputs to the fuzzy logic controller are stopping distance x and vehicle speed y. The output of the fuzzy logic controller is brake z. The membership functions of the inputs and outputs are given here. Distance is partitioned into three fuzzy sets, namely short, medium and long, or x1, x2 and x3. Speed is partitioned into low, medium and high. Brake is partitioned into soft, medium and hard. The range of each quantity has been determined. For instance, the range of distance is between 0 and 20. The range of break is between 0 and 1, where 0 implies no breaking and 1 implies full breaking. Now, let's look at the rule base. The way we read this is, if distance of x is short or x1 and speed y is low or y1, then break z is medium or z2. Another rule is if x is x3 and y is y3, then z is z2. In total, we have eight rules for this system. Now the question is, if at time t, whatever t is, the braking distance is 6 and the vehicle speed is 70, what is the value of brake that is generated by our fuzzy logic controller? The solution must be carried out in three stages, fuzzification, inferencing, and finally, defuzzification. In fuzzification, we have to compute the membership values of x and y for every fuzzy set. Since x has three fuzzy sets that are x1, x2, and x3, we need to calculate mu x1 of 6, mu x2 of 6, and mu x3 of 6. Similarly, we need to calculate mu y1 of 70, mu y2 of 70, and mu y3 of 70 using relevant formulas. In inference engine, rules that are fired by the instantaneous input values are determined. This is a depiction of our eight rules. The first row of plots represent if x is x1 and y is y1, then z is z2. Similarly, the last row is if x is x3 and y is y3, then z is z2. In each row, we have to obtain the minimum of the membership values. The minimum value will be used to truncate the membership function of the output. For instance, let's analyze rule 3, where the minimum between 0.25 and 0.6667 is 0.25. Consequently, the membership function of Z3 is truncated as 0.25. How about rule 4? The minimum between 0.5 and 0 is 0 and thus the membership function of z1 is truncated at 0 which implies the rules is not fired. As we can see when x is 6 and y is 70 only two rules are fired that is rule 3 and rule 6. Once we have determined the rules that are fired we have to carry out a maximum operation. By taking the maximum of the membership functions in green, we obtain an aggregated membership function as this. Let's call this fuzzy set C, and its mathematical expression can be obtained as follows if we choose the set size to be 0.1. The bottom values are the Z values, and we increment it by the step size 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so on. Lastly, in the defalsification stage, 
we need to convert the fuzzy values into a crisp value. If we choose to use the center of gravity method, this is how we compute Z of T. In the center of gravity defalsification method, we divide the summation of the multiplication of Z and mu C of Z by the summation of mu C of Z. Each element that is summed here refers to the fuzzy set C. This multiplied by this plus this multiplied by this and so on. The denominator is the summation of each of this. So when x is 6 and y is 70, z is 0 0.8714. As an additional exercise, what if we reduce the step size to 0.01? I hope you will try computing the output.